This is how I prefer to sit when I'm on my computer. I have my right hand on the mouse and I have the left hand on the left side of my keyboard. So when I have my hand on the keyboard, I feel like there's a fast side and there's a slow side. Because every time I want to do something over here, I need to either lift my left hand or I need to assist with the right hand. And I know that this is not the biggest time loss in the world, but I find a lot of joy in just making things move smoothly. So for example, one feature I use a lot in Blender is the transform pivot point. And the hotkey for this is dot, so I need to move my hand all the way over there. So what I've done usually is that I've gone to preferences and in the key map I've just searched for pivot and I just set this to be hotkey Q because I think that Q has probably the best real estate on the entire keyboard because it's so easy to feel it right next to the tab button and my hand is like in this area all the time anyways. So with the transform pivot point set to Q it's just so easy to change how you want the models to rotate around your scene really fast. But after using this for almost a year now, I realized that I'm almost exclusively using median point, 3D cursor and individual origins. But this is a Pi menu with 8 slots. And since I'm not using any of these 3, and you can also have 2 more, it got me thinking. This Pi menu, with the hotkey set to Q, might be the single most accessible menu in my entire Blender installation right now. So what if I found my most time consuming hotkeys and move them away from the slow side of the keyboard and put them in this Pi menu? So, to find my most time-consuming hotkeys, and equally important, to see how often I use them, I pointed a camera towards my keyboard while I was working, so I could record and timestamp every time I lifted my hand from the keyboard. So I wrote down every single event, and how much time I wasted, and these are the results. In fifth place, we have the hotkey F11, which is used to view the rendered image. So if you take the number of times I pressed F11, and we multiply it with the average time it took me to move my hand, this adds up to a total of 4.8 seconds in this 12-minute Blender session. Then our fourth most time-consuming hotkey, we have I for insert keyframe, which in total cost me 8.4 seconds. Third place is render image at 9 seconds. Second place is O to toggle proportional editing at 9.1 seconds. And finally, the most back and forth, time-wasting, hand-moving, mouse-grabbing hotkey is Control p to parent object. You know when you actually need to lift the hand from the mouse? This cost me 9.5 seconds in total. So if you add all of these together, on paper, I wasted 40.8 seconds moving my hand to the other side of the keyboard during this 12 minute blender session. But if we're being real with ourselves here, the render image hotkey time save doesn't really matter. Because when you hit render, you're just waiting for the render to finish anyways. So what time are you really wasting there? So to keep things simple, let's round it down to 30 seconds wasted during this 12 minute blender session, which is okay, I guess. It's a little over 4%. So if we theoretically could work with 100% productivity for an hour, that's two and a half minutes wasted. Or for an eight hour workday, that's actually 20 minutes. But this is purely theoretical and the actual time save will probably not be that big. So now that we have all the data, we have everything we need to solve this problem. We've got all these hotkeys that are placed on the slow side of the keyboard. Let's move them to the natural resting position of the left hand where we can use this amazing hotkey, Q. So we'll revert all the key map changes for the pivot point menu so all the hotkeys in Blender are default. And then we can test the time consuming hotkeys while keeping Blender's log of operations open so we can see what the internal name of the operation is called when we press the hotkey. We can find appropriate icons using the free icon viewer extension in Blender's text editor. Then we get some help from ChatGPT Codex with our Python code and the result is a super lightweight Python script that can be installed as an add-on. And look at this, now we have all the operations available with a Pi menu using the Q hotkey. And it also has the same layout for the pivot point entries, so our muscle memory will still work. I call this add-on the Quick Trigger Pi Menu, or Cutie Pi for short. I'm very happy about this name. It's a free add-on, you can download it on my GitHub, and you can just install the Python file as an add-on. And using this just feels so nice. I honestly thought these small theoretical time savings would be more like a fun fact about how I could technically be moving my hands less when working in Blender, but after using this add-on on some real projects now, it genuinely feels like I'm in the flow state more often when I'm working. You should try it. And if you want to experiment with adding your own entries to this Pi menu, you can do this in the settings of the add-on. It's a little bit advanced, but you can add most operator identifiers here, and you can add the name of any icon you can find in Blender. It has some quality of life features to it as well, like if you toggle proportional editing, you can see the button is highlighted in the Pi menu there, or you can see what type of active transform pivot point is highlighted. You can use this hotkey in edit mode or sculpt mode and it hides the entries you don't need, and it even adapts to the editor type you're using in Blender. So in the graph editor, for example, you get a 2D cursor instead of a 3D cursor. So I love this add-on. By using it, I'm theoretically saving roughly two and a half minutes every hour, but I did spend four weeks making this add-on and the video you're watching. So 
To break even, I'll have to use this add-on every day for 640 days. Luckily, this is only a five minute YouTube video, so you only need to use the add-on for two hours to get that time back, theoretically. Thanks for watching.